Hello, everyone. I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to coming to today's webinar. Uh, today's webinar is called Sugar CRM for Marketing Management. Uh, it's July 3rd, 2013. I'm Josh Bailey, and I represent E2B Technologies. So we'll get started here. So on today's agenda, we're going to cover how to use Sugar CRM for Marcom, which is marketing communication and how a strong communication plan can really benefit, benefit your organization and uh, how Sugar can kind of facilitate that. Uh, then we'll dive into generating leads and evaluating ROI on marketing efforts. Uh, then we'll jump into, um, which is a bit of the Marcom side, uh, Sugar CRM for email communication and campaign management and reporting. Then we'll go into who we are, E2B Technologies, and then I'll open it up with a uh, summary and questions. And uh, you know, now that I think about it, I put together this this webinar. Um, you know what? I don't think a webinar can really do justice to Sugar CRM. So how about I just pull it up, and we'll do more of a demo instead of a traditional webinar. So we can kind of show you what Sugar can do as far you know from a marketing standpoint goes. So let's pull open a tab here. Uh, Sugar CRM. And Sugar is, uh, we, we run off the cloud, so, you know, it's all web-based in your browser. Let's log in here. All right, and here is the dashboard for the marketing department. Log in here. Uh, dashboard's pretty neat. Um, you can really put any module into Sugar CRM that you have in your system. You can drag it into your dashboard here. Uh, you can split it out by several panels if you want it, you know, three columns instead of just two or one. Uh, you can drag these around. It's all drag and drop. You can put any of your reports that you create in here, uh, anything like that. The dashboard is pretty versatile. You can do anything you want with it, break into tabs, uh, and so on. So for marketing, uh, let's start with uh, email blasts, email reporting. Uh, we use a third-party integration called Inbox 25. Uh, Sugar itself for emails can send approximately, I think it's about 500 bulk emails at once. Um, a lot of the third-party integrations, uh, we send quite a bit more, so we use, we use something like Inbox 25, which can handle you know several thousand uh, emails in just one blast. Um, Sugar integrates with plenty of um, you know third-party clients. We use Inbox 25. There's also MailChimp is another popular um, email tool for Sugar. So here's the Inbox 25 dashboard. Uh, we can create emails from here. Uh, this is on an email credit purchase basis. So it looks like we have to refill that soon. We only got 958 credits left. Uh, and this shows our activity. You know, we sent on July 1st a little over 4,500 4, emails. So Inbox 25 is pretty neat. Um, Sugar Chimp. They all pretty much do pretty similar things. There's email templates, uh, so you can lay out the email kind of how you want, and uh, you know just send huge bulk emails to your specifically targeted uh, target lists and uh, contacts within your CRM database. So let's look at some of the reporting because with this integration with Inbox 25, all the analytics for your email campaigns get tied uh, directly back to your CRM system. So all that information is being imported directly in your system right when an email campaign sends, and you have all that information right there. So let's just look for a recent uh, email that we sent. I think we sent one uh, Monday. Yeah, it's enterprise email that we sent. So here's the panel for campaigns. When you send an email out from Sugar CRM, it gets linked directly back to your campaigns module. Uh, you name it actually in Inbox 25, you get a name, campaign, and then it automatically links up with all the analytics created in the campaigns module in Sugar. So here's what we named it uh, when created in Inbox 25. And we can see that we tied it to our enterprise division of the business. And we can see here uh, what products we promoted in that email. Uh, then let's look at uh, the stat, stats, kind of see, you know, how, how many emails sent, all the opt-out rates, click-through rates, and all that. 
So this is pretty cool. This is that this is the analytics that gets imported directly from Inbox 25 when a campaign sends out and goes directly into um, Sugar. So here's that email, one of the emails that we created earlier this week. And we can see that it's sent out to 4,915, uh, I'm sorry, 4,922 contacts. Um, and we can see that 198 of those bounced, maybe had a bad email or something like that, or weren't or given the right information. Uh, 26 of those people actually clicked through, clicked a link in there, and 462 people viewed it, and 22 people opted out. Uh, pretty high opt-out rate. A lot of times that's because, you know, we blasted um, a bunch of contacts that we just got, and it's, you know, the first contact with them that we have. So let's click, click throughs. You click anywhere on that chart and it brings you down to where that panel is located directly under the chart here. You see it's got all these sub-panels under here. So if we want to see who clicked through, clicked what links, it looks like Susan Wells has had a lot of uh, activity clicking on these emails. And uh, it shows you what link that they clicked on uh, in your email. And then if you want to add all these people, you know, kind of recycle them into another specific target list. Uh, like let's say all the people that clicked on a link in our email, we want to build them into their own specific target list. It's as easy as just clicking add target list and then uh, searching on and selecting one of the target lists that you already have in your system. And then you just click the list there and then all these people will get added to that target list. So that's pretty much a run through of email campaigns with Sugar. Um, a lot of the integration tools like Inbox 25, uh, MailChimp, and stuff like that, all link directly with the analytics of your campaigns, and all that information is easily reported on uh, right under this panel from here. So another great marketing tool that Sugar really provides, uh, one of my favorites, and one of most marketers' favorites, would be the lead form. So lead forms are very easy to create in Sugar. You know, you just hover over campaigns, Go to create lead form, you drag in. These are all fields that were created in the leads module. Sugar has a leads module. And you can create any field that you want within uh, the leads module and then drag any of those fields into your forms to be used. Like if you wanted a, uh, a questionnaire or a survey, you know, you could just ask those questions within fields and then drag those fields within the lead form. So a typical lead form might ask for email. Uh, the account name, which is the company name, first, last name. Uh, then you'd create the lead form from there. Uh, then the lead form ties directly back to a campaign. We'll go to the next step here. Uh, there could be a redirect URL, you know, if you have a piece of content or a white paper or something on your website. Uh, a redirect URL, when they fill out that form, it redirects to this URL. And then you name the form. Uh, you can tie it to one of your existing campaigns within your system, assign the lead in the form to one of your existing uh, users in your CRM system, and then when you go to next uh, or generate form here, then you can edit the HTML and the layout of your actual form and where the fields display and stuff like that. So let's show you one of the forms that we created within Sugar. Uh, let's pull up our blog over here. So here's our blog. Here's a call to action that we have on the side for a white paper. Click on the white paper called action. You've seen these before. You get a lead form. Uh, you fill out this lead form and you automatically get the white paper that you request. So this is one of the contact forms actually created within Sugar. Um, this is embedded in an iframe within uh, the blog page so you can kind of design the page how you want. And then you fill out the information here and then this information gets imported directly into Sugar CRM system. You can have required fields. You see all those red dots. So it says provide all required fields before you advance. And then that lead goes directly into Sugar. So you can fill one out here. The phone number. Tick. Looks like I filled out this information before. And then a little comments and then get white paper. And then you get your content there. 
So we have it set up in Sugar. I'll pull that back up here. To where there's workflow that I don't have my email up, but you would see um, once somebody fills out one of those forms, you automatically get an email saying that a new lead was created in the system. Uh, and you can see it says Angela created, because she's assigned to that lead form. Uh, Angela created the new lead, Josh Bailey. You can open it up. And then there it is right there. So let's look at all the leads created off of that lead form that we had there, that six steps lead form. So go to campaigns. We can see all of our lead forms and white papers by going to, is it tied to a contact form? Yes. That one was a white paper. It was an anytime white paper. It was for Collect, which is another product that we sell. So there was that white paper that we just filled out. This is a campaign created for that white paper. Uh, you can actually store that lead form within the module if you want to reference it or put it on other places in your site. Uh, so if you click that link right there, opens that lead form uh, that that campaign's attached to. So here's the information on the white paper. You know, it's a white paper. It's for this division of our company. Um, it's tied to this product. You can attach notes if you feel like putting notes tied back to it. Uh, so let's then view the status of, of this white paper and, and this lead form. So we can see that this white paper so far has created 50 leads. 50 people have filled out that contact form. And then out of those 50 leads, 25 of those have been converted into actual contacts within the system. And a lot of those probably created opportunities and so on and so forth. So once again, you click here and it brings down to the contacts created in the system off of that lead form. There's also a view ROI button here. So we can see that this lead form has actually created um, one opportunity that, one, it's created several opportunities, but one that actually closed. And that one opportunity amounted to that much revenue. If there's more opportunities to that lead form on uh, that white paper campaign brought in, um, it would just add all those opportunities up there. So that's pretty cool. Um, when somebody fills out a lead form and it creates that lead, uh, that leads tied to the campaign, this campaign being the six steps to develop a business credit policy. And then when that lead is converted into an opportunity or a contact, that, that campaign stays linked to that opportunity or contact. So that when that opportunity is converted into a one opportunity or the deal is closed, um, then that um, campaign is also tied to that, and it says that that campaign generated uh, that much in one opportunity. And Sugar does that all itself. That's not anything that you have to set up or any special reporting. That's just automatically exists within the campaigns module. So if you want just kind of a snapshot of how many leads all of your campaigns are, are generating, you can see here on our dashboard we created this report. It's really simple to do. Uh, this is just kind of a snapshot of all of our campaigns and how many leads our best campaigns are generating. So you can see a total. We've generated 227 leads altogether. And our most popular campaigns look like our 17 Things white paper and our 23 Common MRP Mistakes white paper. And then you can see here a drill down of all of those. You can also drill down on the reports by clicking the little gear up there. And it pretty much shows the same information, but it also uh, breaks it out into tables there, too. Uh, another cool part of um, workflow in these lead forms is that you can see that we got workflow management right there. So when, when a lead is created, it shoots a kickback email to um, the people involved in our um, database that sends an email to our employees uh, saying that we got an email created in the system. But it also sends an email um, about 20-25 minutes later to the person who actually fills out the form. And this is the initial email, the initial 
sales email, you know, like a follow-up email that um, that a person would get, you know, after filling out a form or something like that. So here's the email templates that we have uh, within our workflow. And there's a six steps one that was tied to that contact form and that campaign we we're just looking at. So somebody fills out that contact form. I'll probably get one in a few minutes because I just filled it out. Get an email, and this is the email template, the initial email. So that eliminates a huge step out of, um, you know, that sales has to follow up on. They don't have to follow up on all these leads. Um, somebody fills out a form, this email automatically goes out, so they don't have to do that initial contact. Um, now, often they can just wait for the person to kind of contact them back. And, you know, you can give them links to, um, you know, product information and stuff within their pricing and stuff like that. So there's that. Let me show you one more report real quick before uh, we close up. Let's go back to our dashboard and our 30 days reports. So here's our uh, admin monthly marketing report. Let's expand it in here, drill down a little bit. So this is a report of opportunities created in the last 30 days. So we can see that uh, web requests have created, uh, for our Anytime Select product, they've created 24 leads on this product opportunity. Um, advertising has created 48 uh, opportunities for any type of supply chain product and so forth. And when a opportunity is created, it's automatically tied to a source, you know, where did that opportunity come from? And this report really displays, you know, where our opportunities are coming from and which campaign efforts and which marketing efforts are really generating the most leads for specific products or services that we offer. And drill down here and you can see uh, the chart broken up, and we can see that actually web requests are generating the majority of our opportunities, um, as opposed to advertising, marketing campaigns, directories, and so forth. Um, so that's just really one of the other great functionalities and capabilities within Sugar CRM. Uh, Sugar is a great tool for marketing. Um, the reports are very robust. You can report off of any custom field or any out-of-the-box field that you create in any of the modules within Sugar. Um, and you can really just break out your sales and your marketing and kind of really drill down and see exactly what's generating what as far as leads and conversions with your sales and marketing efforts. So let's pull up the PowerPoint here and just go right down to the closing. So like I said, I'm with E2B Technologies. Uh, and we develop business-to-business -business solutions for the cloud. And we also resell ERP and CRM software. Uh, some of the applications that we develop ourselves include uh, Anytime Collect, which is an accounts receivable collections module. Anytime Commerce, which is a business-to-business e-commerce storefront. Anytime Supply Chain, which is a sales forecasting MRP uh, supply chain management solution. Anytime Assets, which is a cloud-based asset management database. And we develop a few more as well. As far as the software that we resell, we resell Epicor 9 ERP, Intact Financial Software, Sage 500 ERP, and as you would guess, uh, Sugar CRM. So that's it for today. I want to thank you again for coming out to today's webinar. My name is Josh. Uh, you want to reach out or have any questions about Sugar, there's my contact information. Uh, give me a call or send me an email, and I'll be happy to answer that for you. All right, thanks a lot. Have a great day.